I am the managing partner of Old Books on Front Street. There are probably people who are surprised to hear that a bookstore benefits from film incentives. And we benefit in a number of ways. The first is very directly, people like Beth, who are the buyers for the set department, the set dressing department, and the props department, come in and rent or purchase from us. If it is a TV series, things tend to be bought because they want to have the same things to use over and over again for continuity. If it's a feature film, um, or a commercial, then books get rented. And you're saying, what books would be rented? Every time you see a doctor's office on film, somebody's bedroom, a family's living room, a lawyer's office, and there are books on the shelves, they came from a place like us. Um, and one example that you might laugh at, but is very real, is the law library from Matlock <laughs> came from this bookstore in the early 80s, got used on Matlock, came back here, got used on Dawson's Creek, came back here, got used on One Tree Hill, and came back here. <laughs> and so that is just one set of books that we have succeeded in making money on multiple times with the film industry. Um, we rent books by the foot, we rent books um, based on genre, um, based on color, there's a whole variety of things that we do. And you're probably saying, can't they, you know, just get that from a prop warehouse in California? Well, you're talking about a lot of weight <laughs> to move and it's very expensive. But we are set up should somebody like Matt Sullivan or Beth Giles go, oh good lord, we need 200 feet of red, brown, and black pre-1963 books in two days. We're about the only game in town that's really set up to meet that need. And over and over and over again, that has paid our mortgage. When Matt Sullivan comes in from One Tree Hill and bought our entire health section, that paid our mortgage that afternoon. I love selling books to the public. One dollar mass market paperbacks is not what is meeting the bills. So that is item number one. Item number two, like a lot of places in town, we have been fortunate to rent our location to the film industry. It's hard to reproduce something like this. It would take many, many days and a lot of time and effort, whereas they can come in and they can rent it from us and it's good to go. Um, that then has another long-term aspect to it that a lot of people don't realize, which is the tourism piece. Our old location had been the bookstore in the Margaret Mitchell story, which was a not terribly wonderful made-for-TV movie from the mid-90s. We still had people from Japan who were coming to visit in 2009 just to see the location for the Margaret Mitchell story. From Japan. <laughs> and they all needed places to stay while they were here, food to eat while they were here, transportation while they were here, and of course they all bought lots of souvenirs to take home. Now, think about One Tree Hill. One Tree Hill was huge in um, the British Commonwealth. So of course we had all of the Brits who came to visit for it, all the Canadians and South Africans and Australians. People were coming from Australia to come to Wilmington, North Carolina. Not New York, not Washington, D.C., Wilmington, North Carolina because of One Tree Hill. And again, they all need a place to stay. They all need food to eat. They all need transportation while they're here. And they all had to buy souvenirs. It's a tremendous amount of ongoing money that keeps coming into this area. And that is what allows us to pay our staff, to meet our mortgage, to meet our electrical bills. So then the other piece of the equation is, do we need a film incentive package to keep this film industry money coming in here? And the answer is yes. Um, and I have heard a lot of people say, well, you know, electricians can go to another state and get a job. That's a very short-sighted response. First, you want people to be working here. You want them to be living here and spending money here. But it's not just film crew who benefit from the film incentive package. If the film incentive package goes away and we stop having filming here, that's going to be dire for small businesses like myself. Um, we, Whenever I see production notes coming in for a big feature film, I, I just breathe a sigh of relief because I know that I'm going to be able to meet my bills. <laughs> and, and it is just a constant influx of free money from outside in large lumps that a small retail operation like we have won't see from anything else. Um, and that money allows me to pay employees and to pay my mortgage and to pay my utilities and to pay our taxes, <laughs> you know, which is a really big key piece of this. Uh, we don't get nice pretty tax breaks. We, we pay everything and um, we, so that is 
the incentive money, which is a tax break, comes into a business like ours and gets paid back again in taxes. It's a loop. Um, it would be it would be physically and financially painful for us if the film industry disappeared entirely. Um, there have been years where it's been slim and it shows up without question. Those you know those are the years where we're not we're not even quite close to breaking even. Um, and those are the years where we're not hiring extra staff and we're not staying open for extended hours. 